Brown, a Homeworks by Precept consultant from Northern Kentucky. I'd like to introduce you to the fourth edition of the Writing and Grammar for Grade 7, recently published by BJU Press. In the subject kit is included a two-volume teacher's edition, the student work text, and then tests and test answer keys. Let's take a look inside. Seventh grade marks the transition between elementary school and middle school, and so it's, the layout is a bit different. There's going to be a total of 18 chapters in the book. All of them are going to have what is called a writing workshop, and that's included in every chapter. Four chapters will focus entirely on writing, and you'll see that they're doing some writing as far as uh, narrative writing, informative writing. They'll also be doing some argumentative writing and then a writing project at the very end of the year. Every chapter focuses on a different topic or a different part of speech. Throughout the book, there's going to be mentor texts where they're actually going to read either previous works of literature or an example that actually emphasizes that particular topic. For instance, on the chapter on sentences, they relay the part of speech that President Ronald Reagan gave at the Brandenburg Gate, where he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Then it asks questions of what type of sentence was this? President Reagan had actually been advised against uh, delivering a very strong directive. But what impact did using that one sentence have on history? Every new concept is going to have a teaching box in which it will give the definitions of what is being learned and then also the rules to follow when using that particular concept. I also enjoy when they have um, charts that actually outline, for instance, this is reflexive and intensive pronouns. Uh, and how those change between singular and plural whenever you're using first person, second person, third person, and then the neuter masculine or feminine um, forms. After they've actually gone over the teaching box where they've learned the new concept, then there's a section called practice the skill. Typically, this is the page that I do with my students. This allows me to see, are they, have they really understood the new concept that we have just presented, or do we need to do uh, additional um, practice or do some re-explaining? The practice the skill is then followed by a review the skill that I usually assign as independent work, and then a use the skill where they take what they have learned and use it in actual writing. This allows me to know, have they fully understood and can they apply what they have learned? That use the skill is a very, very valuable tool. At the end of every chapter is a chapter review. This is usually done the day before they take their test and is a good evaluation to show you if, is there anything that we need to go back and review or just sort of, uh, go over terminology to make sure that they understand and is a good preparation for taking the test. Every chapter also includes a writing workshop. It depends on what topic that chapter has been covering, what's going to be covered in the writing workshop. In this particular section taken from chapter one, which is about sentences, so you learn what a complete sentence is and what a fragment is. And in this case, they're focusing on effective use of fragments. Again, they're using these mentoring texts in pieces of literature where they're, it actually points out, here's how fragments are used and how they're used effectively and can be used in a way to communicate even more thoroughly than what a complete sentence can be used. Then there's writer's tips given. How can you actually develop using fragments in your own writing? And then there's opportunities for them to do that on their own. That is a writing workshop. Every chapter has one. 
but there are also chapters that are just dedicated to writing itself. This is chapter 14, which goes through the argumentative writing process. They're going to be mentored again by looking at mentor texts. Where is a piece of argumentative uh, text that was done well? And once they've read through that text and done specific activities related to that text that are given off to the side, then they are given the opportunity to start planning their own argumentative piece of writing. They go through the planning, the drafting, the revising, the proofreading, the publishing phases, just like they learned in the elementary um, curriculum. All of this is done in very manageable steps. If your students are anything like mine, writing can be quite intimidating for them. And it has been very, very helpful to just have it broke down into bite-sized pieces that they can just work on one section at a time. Not only have I loved this particular edition for its content, but I also appreciate coming from the mother of children who don't particularly care for, the, for grammar, the subject of grammar. Um, they made it attractive and it was, it's not overwhelming. The assignments are very uh, doable. They're not extensive. They're not overkill. There's plenty of opportunity for practice, but also just lots of fun artwork and enough space for them to feel as though they're not being overwhelmed with information. Some of the key features that we have enjoyed the most is the colorful artwork. We appreciate uh, the time and energy that was spent on that. The shortness or conciseness of the individual lessons, it's broken down in such a way that not any one concept is overwhelming. Also appreciate the ability to practice. Um, there's many opportunities to actually use that and reinforce the concepts being presented before moving on. I also very much appreciate the uh, emphasis on looking at and mentoring texts of other people who have used this concept uh, in, the in their communication and have used it effectively. I hope you too find this as a good foundation piece for helping your students create a good foundation for then going on to higher levels writing and grammar uh, concepts in the future.